Hi, I'm Josh, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about a formative assessment tool I love to use. Google Forms is a transformational tool when harnessed for education. It can be used by students or teachers as a polling or survey tool, or for collecting and compiling student peer assessment or self-assessment information. Perhaps the most powerful way teachers and even students can use this tool is for formative assessment. I'd like to share one way I've learned to leverage Google Forms to inform my practice and to facilitate student formative self-assessment. It's called the 100% quiz. The original idea comes from an inspiring high school math teacher I've worked with named Tim Spray. Tim started using 100% quizzes as a paper and pencil activity to let students know what areas they needed to work on. Here's how it worked. Partway through a unit, a quiz was given on the material that had been covered. The teacher then posted the answers, students marked it themselves, and did corrections to get completion credit. Student scores were either 100% or 0% if incomplete. Enter Google Forms. Now a teacher can make a quiz with Google Forms. What's more, by using either the quiz function in form settings or by using a Google Sheets add-on like Fluberoo, the teacher can have the quiz automatically marked for the student. Students save time on the marking and teachers can have a record of student work without having to collect, sort, check, and store mountains of paper. Students respond well to the immediate feedback provided by Google Forms. In their 1989 work, researchers Fai and Andre found that immediate feedback had a positive effect on efficient retention. With Google Forms, students no longer have to mark their own work. Because of this, the correction phase changes. I now tell my students to take the quiz as many times as it takes to get 100% and to simply take note of the types of questions that tend to trip them up. While they're doing the quiz, they can go back to their classwork, to the guided examples I've posted online, or even collaborate with a peer to accomplish the goal of getting 100% on the quiz. If the entire unit is available online, I will tell the students that get 100% on the quiz before doing their classwork that they can just mark the assignment as complete. My students find this tool to be very empowering. Students who excel revel in being set free from slogging through question after question of material they understand immediately and are able to move quickly through the work at their own pace. Conversely, my struggling students can practice a topic as many times as they need to feel comfortable and can move seamlessly between quizzing, getting peer or teacher help, and revisiting classwork as needed. According to Shute in 2008, feedback is, quote, a significant factor in motivating learning. Conversely, a meta-analysis of studies on feedback found that it can discourage learners if they find it to be critical or judgmental. Feedback students receive through the 100% quiz is timely, specific, and automated. The fact that it's marked by a computer also gives them a sense of anonymity and the freedom to try it until they get it all right. At first, my students were worried that if I saw how many times it took them to complete the challenge, I would think that they were dumb. It took a few weeks to change their mindsets and to create the kind of culture I wanted. Now I ask my students what it says about them if they have to take the test 50 times to get 100%. They say, I'm persistent, I'm a hard worker, and I don't give up. I deserve 100%, and my favorite, I'm worth the hard work. They now know that it's not just another way for a teacher to judge them. How then do I use 100% quizzes if not to evaluate student progress? How can it inform teacher practice? The answer? Data. For students, Google Forms takes 100% quizzes to the next level by automating the marking, saving them time, and focusing their efforts. For teachers, Google Forms introduces a level of access to quiz data that is previously unheard of outside of large-scale standardized tests. On a micro level, teachers can look through quizzes student by student to take a temperature check of how challenging they're finding the material. Information like number of attempts, and student mark on first attempt is a good indicator of how challenging each individual finds the material. Zooming out, class average can help tell a teacher if more review is needed. Both of those, however, could have been available in the paper and pencil days if one was inclined to do a little calculating. The real magic of Google Forms is looking at question-by-question -question data. When I look at Google Sheets that has been automatically marked by the Fluberoo add-on, a percentage is assigned to each question indicating how often it is answered correctly. I can then look through quiz results and determine which individual or types of questions require reteaching, either as a whole or in small groups. 
I can sort my form by who got a specific question wrong, identifying who I should put into small group instruction. With current research pointing us away from traditional summative evaluation, it is important for teachers to find efficient, effective tools to assess students and their own practice in a formative manner. Google Forms, paired with Sheets and Flubrew, offers a powerful way for teachers to gather data to inform their practice. It also has the power to allow students to receive timely, specific feedback that can be invaluable to their learning. Now go give it a try.